During the one scrimmage situation, Jameer Tillman gets behind the defense for two long catches. We know he's capable of that. You run a triple option offense, but how do you use a weapon like Jameer Tillman when you know you got a big time wide receiver that can help you? Well, he's as good as we've ever had here. He's a great kid. You know, we're counting on him. Um, you know, for us to have a great year, Jameer needs to have a great year. But he's not only a great receiver, he's a great blocker, he's a great leader. Um, and so, you know, those are huge plays for us. Actually, we needed those plays because in the early part of practice, the defense was kicking the offense's butt. Mm -hmm. And so the offense was able to get some three, three long plays in the second half. So it's a great reminder for our team. It's, you, there's never any time for this. Right. You know I mean? And just keep playing, play the next snap. Um, but Jameer's a guy for us to have a great year. He needs to have a great year. I wanted to ask you about a couple of guys that are injured. Um, Robert Lindsay, the offensive tackle, is not out here. What, what's going on with Robert? Well, we'll see. You know, he's still working on some stuff. You know, he's got some back issues, and we'll see. He's a great kid, and hopefully he'll be able to return. You know, probably be, probably more doubtful than anything, but, you know, we'll just wait and see. He, but he's out for a while. Yes. Um, uh, Daniel Gonzalez has not been practicing either. Are you any concerns with him, or you feel he'll be there when you need him? Well, hopefully he'll be back, you know, maybe next week or so, and uh, hopefully he'll be back soon. We'll at least get a couple weeks of practice in. But we expect him back for the first game. And I've seen Daquan over here working with uh, a strength and conditioning coach, but he looks okay. He's he's moving. He He's just not doing the... Yeah, he's a guy, too, that we expect, and hopefully will be um, available for the first game. Um, and he's been working back. You know, he's a, had a really good ending part of the year for us, and uh, hopefully he'll be 100%. And last but not least, your freshman quarterback, who was your starter at Naps last year, Lanusa, I saw he has a cast. Um, is he going to be out for a little while? He'll probably be out for a while, too. Right? right. So now he is a guy that, you know, being a starter at Naps, you think he might be someone to get into the mix soon. You've got two seniors, or your ones and twos. Are, do you feel that this fall camp, do you need to try to start figuring out who the guy for next year will be? Yeah, fortunately, that guy over there is really smart. He's already way ahead of that. Okay. Yeah. So Ivan's You're already. talking about Ivan Jasper, yeah, so right? he's. <laughs> Already got his plan of guys he's working in, you know, Zach Aby, um, Malcolm Perry's a guy. Young uh, kid. Yeah, Jacob Harrison, JoJo, Robert. I mean, those are all guys that are doing some stuff. And so, I mean, still, still a long ways to go. Uh, you got to find a way to get them ready also as you get our team ready. And we get a ton of reps on our team, so it should be okay. Last year, you implemented more of an aggressive defensive philosophy, and it paid some dividends. You got to the quarterback, you had some tackles for loss. Is that something you want to continue, maybe even ramp up further? What's your thoughts on that? Uh, we'll see. You know, we'll see. We, we, we don't want to give our opponent, the first <laughs> opponent, too many ideas of what we're doing. But, you know, you're always looking at things that you can do. You know, Coach Pearson and his staff are always looking at ways we can tweak things, but uh, we'll see. And last but not least, I'm about to talk to these three young men, our local kids, Jake Hawk, uh, Zach A.B., and Jared Ryan. They also are on the depth chart at the moment, seem to be doing okay. Is it nice to have local kids playing for Navy? Yeah, not only Maryland kids, Anne Arundel kids. Yeah, right, you know right, right in the immediate and, area, right. And so, and they're doing a really good job. All of them, um, you know, are going to make a big impact for our program, you know, soon. And the future is real bright for all three of those guys. And it looks like Ivan Jasper, who does recruit this area, has done a good job of identifying guys that can make it here. I mean, all three of those guys are he, he recruited, I believe. Yeah, all local kids that Ivan recruited. And like I said, we're counting on those guys to, you know, have an impact. Um, you know, they've done well, done well in school, um, done well in the hall, and they're doing well in the football field. So great representation for our county and, and for the state. But yeah, as you know, here at Navy, Guys move, uh, it, once they, but they've determined that they want to keep you a quarterback. Did that make you feel good? Yeah, it made me feel good. Um, like I said, I, uh, I talked to them over the spring. See, I wanted to see if they, uh, they thought I could be any other position because I'm open to play whatever, you know, be back. I played a little be back in naps. Mm -hmm. uh, I, obviously, I played safety in high played school. Safety in high school. Um, you know, I was, I'm, I'm open to any position. I'd let the coaches know that. They said, um, they said, you know, we want to keep you at quarterback right now. We think we can, we can work with you at quarterback. So they just want to see me more through camp. So, how good does it feel to be on the depth chart? I mean, that's that, that that's not easy around here right. with this many people. And I know it's not, you know, you're fighting for right. that spot every day. But right, yeah, it feels really good. I mean, like last last uh, last season, being under on the scout team, you know, it feels like like you're unnoticed over there. So it feels good, like having a, a spring ball. Um, you know, finally getting reps in, and then through camp, finally getting reps in, and uh, kind of executing the reps right. Uh, start getting a lot, lot more comfortable under center, 
and uh, you know, yeah, it feels it feels really good. Now you ran uh, on a kind of a wing T type of attack at Spalding, but right. it, there is some similarities in that you're multiple bail, ball carriers and faking. How, talk about the transition yeah. into this type of um, offense. Yeah, our first, my first couple years of Spalding, we ran like a wing T, and then we kind of spread it out a little, like a modified wing T. Mm -hmm. um, kind of got a little bit of an option in, but then my senior year is when we really spread it out, got more of a, a spread option. We're still in, a, in gun. Mm -hmm. um, but that definitely helped me out. Uh, we did a lot of option, uh, option reads, zone reads, and stuff. So that right. helped me out. So the transition from just going in gun under center is a little different. Uh, everything's a lot faster now. We're hitting it be back and like real fast, and got to like sharp reads, get your mind right. And um, but it's been a transition. Just like I said, reps helps a lot. Getting reps in, and uh, I feel I feel a lot more comfortable now than I have been. Did you get to play in some JV games at quarterback? Yeah, last year we yeah we played some JV games. Um, we didn't have many like three or four, I think. But yeah, we played in some, and that, that helped. It was, it was a lot of rotation, because we had a lot of quarterbacks on the, the JV roster. So right, we had to get some reps, right. Yeah, we had like, maybe it was one drive a, a, a half. Mm -hmm. But yeah, that that, that helped. Um, you know, we got we got together as a team, as like the younger guys. So we it was like naps again, so. So regardless of what happens up happening here, you'll always be able to tell your kids that you shared a quarterback room with Keenan Reynolds. Right. <laughs> what was that I like? <laughs> yeah, it was, that was a great experience. I mean, it's always, it's always nice to hear, you know, he's, he was so good with, with everything, all the schemes and, you know, he, he really knew his stuff. Uh, Did he was, actually speak to you? Yeah. Oh yeah. We, uh, <laughs> I mean, yeah, we, uh, just from being in the area, I mean, we shared a couple, uh, like I was, I was with him for some of the ceremony things and, um, yeah, just being like he would always like come. He'd coach us up, uh, like make sure we knew what was going on in meetings and stuff. It was it was it was it was great to see like hear from you know one of the greatest quarterbacks came in here. So now, I mean, you didn't know them in high school, but Jared Ryan, Jay Hawk, local guys. Is there any kind of bond there between the Anaheim yeah, guys? Yeah, I, mean, I, I knew Jared actually. Uh, Did you in high school? Yeah, we were okay. we were boys then, and uh, all right. Yeah, we played seven on seven a couple of times, and you know it's fun to beat them, of oh, course, oh, but. Oh, <laughs> but uh, <laughs> yeah, we, we've always been tight. But yeah, just being here makes it all tighter. You know, we mm -hmm. all we all hang out with local guys. Uh, we get to bring our, our friends back home. We meet up and everything. So mm -hmm. yeah, it's it's been great. It's been great. Uh, yeah, you know, just uh, people. Some people get hurt. You know, we got a few injuries and uh, spots open up, and you basically just want to step up and make plays. You know, so I'm really grateful. You know, what I mean, if I'm given the opportunity to, and I uh, just try to. Try to you know what I mean show that I can play at that uh, at that tempo at that pace with the uh, ones so it's a it's a good feeling. You know what you're doing? I mean, yeah, uh, definitely. So I really got in over the spring during spring ball. Really got into the uh, playbooks. Uh, talked to the old, some of the guys that graduated last year during that spring period. Just mm -hmm. see if they could share their knowledge with me and uh, try, really try to not just only understand what I'm supposed to do, but what everyone else is supposed to do. That way everything just comes by instinct. So it's it's uh, it's all coming together now. Dan O'Brien's a pretty sharp coach. Uh, I imagine he's helped you a lot. I mean, that's a good guy to have coaching you up, right? Oh yeah, Coach Ovi's, uh, he's he he knows his stuff. So in and out. So and uh, he basically he goes through everything by technique, through schemes, and just really breaks everything down, simplifies it for us. So a lot of us that are just getting into the playbook know know what we're doing. So he yeah, great, definitely a great coach. So out here today, I see number four going downfield, beating people for long catches. I mean, that's got to be an intense thing for you to, in practice to have a chance to go against a guy like Jameer Tillman. Oh, yeah, I mean, yeah, that's uh, at DV, you, you, you want to go against uh, one of the best uh, receivers. So every time, so one-on-ones, you you try to time it up to if you can get, get to play against him. So you want to show the coach that you can compete with the best. So, you know, and uh, it's basically a pride thing, too. You don't want you don't want to get beat deep or uh, get a ball caught on you at all. So you mm -hmm. it uh, increases everyone's game. Everyone try to uh, one-up each other when we're going against like that. So it's a, it's a good competition and healthy for the team. So. So early in camp, have you what have you seen that you need to work on? I mean, you, you've got to be self-critical. You are still a young player. You, you know, what, have you discovered some things that I, I got to get better on if I want to be on this field come uh, regular uh, season? Definitely technique. Uh, just just uh, opening your hips and kind of knowing when to break or recognizing uh, when what receiver is going to do their tendencies and I just kind of pay attention to the little stuff like that. Little details like that make you just all that quicker just to be able to get a turnover and make a big play. Mm -hmm. So I'm really working on just a little bit, just the technique and everything. So now. You were a multi-sport guy in high school. Do you think now that you're able to focus solely on football, you're able to kind of take it up a little notch? Oh, definitely. A lot of most of the time in uh, high school was just all athleticism. A lot of just uh, just being going out there, being an athlete. Now I'm able to really get down to football and actually understand what I'm doing. So it's a lot 
lot more uh, mental game now that I think now that I'm in college and actually like getting into the playbook. So it's a lot more than just uh, athleticism because everyone at this uh, at this point is really athletic. So. So if I remember the story correct, Ivan Jasper spotted you at a basketball game, saw your <laughs> hips and the fact you could get off the floor, that you were very athletic. Are you grateful that that happened? Because I think at the time you weren't sure where you were going, and that changed everything, didn't it? Oh, definitely. So, yeah, uh, it was our uh, rival game, actually, St. Mar against St. Mary's, and uh, mm -hmm. said he came out to that game and saw that I, I was pretty athletic and uh, just, just can move. So that, that's uh, really what uh, sparked some interest there. So I'm definitely grateful. I mean, playing multi like different sports just really helped me in, in everything and all my overall athleticism. So it, it's de it was definitely helpful just not focusing on one sport in high school. Last but not least, are you getting acclimated to this place? I know it's hard here. Um, plebe summer, plebe year was probably difficult, but are you starting to settle in and feel oh. like you know what's going on overall? Oh, definitely, yeah, uh, de definitely a good breather that a uh, plebe year is over. But uh, it's it's uh, it's coming in slowly. So now now you're honestly getting adjusted and uh, just knowing your role in this place and how how everything works. So it's it's not too bad. And it doesn't doesn't hurt that uh, I live like 20 minutes away. So I go see my family almost right. every weekend. So it's it's pretty nice.